I'm Bowen, a product designer in Philips. I work with a venture team to develop and design uh, the first Philips uh, Airfresh mask. Hi, this is Yu Ping. I'm the CNF designer for Philips Fresh Air mask. Hey, my name is Hans. I'm a communication designer. We are thrilled to have this opportunity to be able to design something that's very meaningful and also serve a very strong purpose for people in particular Asia. Because what we have lived here in the day that the air pollution was threatening our lives in a big way. So this has become one of the very strong commitment to uh, establish a strong team and then execute the design to launch in China. In China, wearing a mask is very important to us. It's almost becoming one of our daily necessities. It's also, also a courtesy to wear a mask in the public space in protecting others and also protecting you from getting sick. Mask is also one of the important things that protect ourselves in the pollution days. We are so glad to be part of the project because this is definitely one of the most challenging projects that we have ever done. Philips identify an opportunity to offer our consumer a perfect max solution in terms of breathing comfort, wearing comfort, effective protectings, and of course, a good appealing design. Design took a very important role in the design process with all the stakeholders, which we started in the very beginning of the project. Our approach is empathetic and also human-centered because we believe in designing a meaningful product that is very necessary for us to understand who are we designed for and what the actual needs that they have. In the later design process, we went through countless design iterations and also exploration of archetypes and design architecture to be tested with the consumers that really help us to understand how we can make an impact on our product design and eventually offering a meaningful solution to our consumers. In the mask design process, we had countless design challenge in making it to the perfect. There are several details that I'm so proud of, which they are the shape of the mask, because we use uh, data to ensure that we can have cover most of the Asian faces to be able to give the best comfort. The shape of the mask is designed highly on the data that we collected to ensure the comfort and the optimization that we can have on the face. So that really result a very distinct nose feature on the mask that really covers a lot of faces and gives the comfort to them. There are one of the design feature on the mask is also the fan module design because it's split and one is hidden. So that resulted in a visual that focused on the fan module itself on the left side with a very iconic shape, which is very recognizable and also functional at the same time. The TPU is also one of the highlights of the, the mask. It really helps to sustain the structure and put all the modules and fabric and then shell together in a very good shape. We did a facial combination study in order to understand how people perceive themselves while wearing different kinds of masks. And we found out the so-called V-shape is very much preferred by Asians because it is so important as being perceived as a fit looking. We study and explore all different kinds of materials, study all the knowledge from different industry because different material got different material property. The material has to be permeable. It has to be lightweight because people need to wear it every day. It needs to be washable. It needs to be skin friendly. Normally, communication designer help to create concepts and design materials for product launch. For mask project, 
A big difference is we are invited at the beginning of the project and to help create initial concept for the online test. This action helps the team to gain many knowledge from the consumer, same to the design team. There are two questions need to be answered for communication design. The first one, we have very rich story to tell, but we need to keep single-minded in storytelling. To make it, we create a key signature, extract from our product to present our innovation and the difference. The second question, how we balance our innovation story and the styled design. Eventually, consumer will wear our mask. Their looking should be confident, trendy, and styled. We studied the, our consumer, how they look like uh, in the real life, how they dress up, what they do in outdoor, even in indoor. For innovation story, we create a full CGI video. Because it can present our invisible technology in a free and powerful way, it is also important to visualize, breathe in such small products to convince our consumer. Our best learning in the math project was to have design team in the early phase. That really helped us to understand what we are designing and who are we designing for. This will dramatically improve the outcome of the process, eventually leads to a better product. None of us have wearable design experience. We just learn and grow from the process. We work closely with scientists, engineers, and researchers. And this journey is definitely amazing. The exciting and the interesting thing is uh, when we create uh, the rich assets like uh, lifestyle shooting and compare with what consumers should after they purchase our product, you can see the same tonality and the beauty from these products. I love working for Philips because as a company, we deeply care about our consumer and the environment. That really leads us to how we can design a product in a better way and in a very sustainable way. Philips allow us to keep open mind and release our creativity in the whole process, which is really appreciated by me. Actually, tomorrow is the start of my 10th year in Philips. So it is really like a, uh, the big family. It is really excited to grow with it. That's uh, uh, one of the important reasons why I love to work for Philips.